Hey everybody, it's Sunfire Fire here. Um, so, I just came in to um, tell you that I watched um, the second season of He-Man and um, the Masters of the Universe or whatever it's called. It's the kid version of, of like, um, it's the, the other other one, not, not the, the He-Man Revelations one. So, um... I I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was it was better than season two. Um, I um, I do have there are some faults there that um, for Stratos. Okay, when I watched the original the original He Man, obviously Stratos is not my favorite char character. I don't know who would pick Stratos as their favorite character. But the thing is with I know what in this in this team in, I know what's geared toward kids, but Stratos is gets on our, my nerves a little bit. He he was funny at first, but then he's he's just taking it to a whole new level. Like when um he when he man when like I liked I liked it the episode where um, where we first meet Stratos and where when um, He Man challenges Stratos to a, a duel, and um, and so um, so I like that part. But then after a while, he kind of gets he's he wants to join their team, and then he kind of like at first I get like oh okay Stratos, you're not real, you're full of yourself. But hopefully, if you you realize that you're part of a team, you'll finally realize that you know what you need to be part. You need to like work together. But he didn't. So he so finally, and everyone was just like pressuring He Man. You know what? You should fight. You should get rid of him. And he's and then He Man finally broke, and he just said, "You know what? You're gone." And I'm gonna use people's superhero names because one, I may not remember their names. Like Ram Ma'am, it took me a while to remember her name, and then I forgot. It. I think it's Crass. Um, like at the end of season two, I finally remembered her name, and then I forgot it again. So, so yeah, I think it's Crass. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say Ram Ma'am for a while at the time, and um, um, so. And then when in that big battle with um, when Skeletor goes to find Castle Grayskull and they find out that it's a, they teleported Castle Grayskull to Avion. So, um, well, even before that, even like when um, Crass goes back. Yeah, I think her, yeah, that's her name. Crass, Crass. Red Man's name's Crass. When Crass goes back to the um, jungle to find out what happened to her parents. Um, she, um, she meets Stratos because Stratos is now going, is now, he, now he wants to be the one who creates the team that saves the Eternals. It's not Eternia anymore, it's Eternals. Um, so, um, And so, so, so then, so then he, he gives a backstory as to why he's just so, I don't know what the word to say, why he's such a big, thinks he's such a big shot is because he had to prove, so, cause he's not, he's not, um, he's chosen at, from, by the people. The, the king of Avian is chosen by the people. He's not born into it. So, and it's just like, so it's like, oh, so that's why he's acting so full of himself all the time. And so you have a, like, a heart for, you kind of empathize with him, sympathize, empathize um, with um, Stratos for a second. And then he just turns off the, and then in the next episode, he's just like, I understand when, um, Skeletor invades, and then in the next scene, Skeletor invades um, 
Avion, and then his 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 guards are just like, oh, um, we're being invaded. Avion's being invaded once again, and the king is nowhere to be found. And it's just like, so this has been a thing for him. And like, I know Stratos didn't know that Skeletor was going to invade Avia. I mean, no one did. But, um, well, Duncan did because he, he told him. So, um, with men at arms, Duncan men at arms. Um, so, um, but it's, it's just like, so Stratos has been doing, has been abandoning his, country i don't dimension whatever i don't kingdom for like all the time when the going gets tough and he like he wants everyone to praise him it's just like and it's just like so it's just like it's it sounds to me like you are making it so um so stratos but his people chosen because he flies fast and so that, but you're making the people hate you again because you're never around for when you, um, you get invaded. So I wouldn't trust you as my king anymore. I wouldn't want you to be my king anymore. So I would probably boot you out. Um, and then in the second to last episode, um, Adam is just like, has had enough of Stratos because then Stratos comes up with his new team and they don't know what they're doing, obviously. So they, I obviously don't know what they're doing either. S Stratos and Stratos doesn't, he's the leader and he doesn't know what he's doing. So they're all out of sync. They're all whack. And it's just like, so he means just like, he had his breaking point with Stratos again. He was just like, you know, your people, he's like, your people need you. Why don't you go um, deal with them first? And it's just like, and so then Stratus just has the, has a uh, epiphany. He's like, oh yeah, maybe he's right. And it's just like, it kind of defeats the purpose of that whole narrative, um, that whole um, thing that he talked about his backstory. Cause it's just like, with that backstory, you're kind of rooting for, him to to succeed on his own to find out on his own how to succeed but when he man makes him realize you know what you have to do this it's like not even encouraging to understand he, he's just telling him it's it you have to go um you have to go look after your kingdom and it and um it's it just it just that totally sounds like oh so the creator are just moving plot forward and this has no this has no natural um ability going on here it's just you could, I can totally see the writers just didn't know what to do with Strano so they just let's let's just tell let's just have He Man tell him what to do and it's just like okay um. The other thing is with Crass. So I I do like I I really like that um they think since Skeletor is gone since they broke the staff um that he's gone he's not coming back but he's in Cass's helmet because Cass's gem is havoc. So I like that part. But like in the in the middle of the season i don't know um i like when he when um in the in the yeah it was in the middle of the season i like when um skeletor tells um ram man oh do you want to know don't you want to know what's um what your your gem is made out of she's just like what and then like it like something else happens i forget what else happens but um they get cut off and, and she doesn't get to find out and so I do like how I do I do like how everything played out in that, but I just don't like it. It, it just the the last episode just felt forced, a little um, forced. Like they tried to speed it up because they wanted to get they didn't have 
they wanted to have a um, few episodes, but they didn't want to have, um, but they wanted to make it work. But it's just like, I would have liked to see more of the struggle that um, Crass faced um, when she was saying, should I betray my friend or should I not? Because I want to find my parents, but it feels like all my friends are turning their back on me. So, and if if I try to find my parents and use Skeletor help, I'll be turning my back on them. So, which is more important. I would have liked to see that more internal struggle. Because, like, when she, when she is about to turn into Havoc Ram Man, um... Ram ma'am, she says that I I knew I was always my worst enemy. And it's just like, but I don't believe it. I, I never saw you as your worst enemy. How am I supposed to know that when you just told me it? Like, it's it's like in Avatar The Last Airbender. When Aang um not Avatar the Last Airbender, The Last Airbender, the M Lent Shaman one, where Aang says, Oh, um, Gyoshi was like my father to me. And I'm just like, how? Because every flashback we see, it's of you with other people and Gyo with his students, your classmates, and Gyoshi. So how is he any different from... How is your memory of him different from your classmate's memory of him? Because you're always you're always together with with everyone. So... I don't see how, and um, so that's that's the that's that's what I didn't. Those were the two things that I didn't like. Other than that, I thought it was a pretty good season, and I can't wait for the third season. It's really good, and um, so yeah, don't let anyone tell you since tell you like now you're since you're not a kid don't watch cartoons because cartoons are pretty awesome okay um and also um i know you guys hate me because i'm lagging on my book reviews but i'm getting there i'm getting there my my next class is starting so i'm probably not gonna get there anytime soon though um I'm taking a, a Civil War class. I've taken so many Civil War classes. Um, well, actually, probably not. Yeah, I've taken. I've. 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 I've like I've taken um, so many Civil War classes, or like studied Civil War a lot. So yeah, I think that. But this one is different because obviously it's ten weeks, but. And I'm taking it from a historiography perspective. So let's see how that goes. And um, so I'm not going to say what my topic is yet because I want, I need it to, I'm wanting to get approved by my professor first for my final project. Um, and I will try to get my book reviews out because I, I don't think I did that Boris Carlos, Karloff review yet so I really need to do that and um yeah so that's all I have for today bye